Hello. Uh, I'm going to try and make myself a collet chuck here. Uh, I have some rather small diameter stuff that I want to be able to grip, and it's way smaller than my uh, chucks will hold, other than a Jacob's chuck, and I don't want to use a Jacob's chuck for it uh, because it will. The jaws bite into the wood in three places. And uh, even if the wood is round, which it will be, uh, like one jaw will be biting into face grain and the other two jaws will be biting at an angle into the other grains and uh, will probably bite to different depths. So it'll go off center. Plus, I'm wasting the wood that I'm gripping all the time. Uh, with a collet chuck. I can slide a long piece straight on through the headstock and uh, leave enough sticking out to work on. When I'm done with that, I can pull it out some more and uh, just keep doing that until I get down to the last little bit. Uh, and that's the only waste I'll have out of my piece of stock. Uh, so what I've done here, I've just gotten a piece of hard maple and I used my uh, Veritas center finder over on the wall there. Uh, it's just uh, two pieces of angle iron, or two angles. It's a 90 degree angle between the two sides. And uh, there's a back plate with a sharpened uh, ridge running vertically. So you put this in the cradle. It works for square or round stock. And you put it in the cradle and give it a wrap against the sharpened uh, ridge on the back and that leaves the line corner to corner so you just turn it 90 degrees and give it another wrap and it leaves you with two uh, grooves in the end of the wood and uh, since they're grooves it's easier to get the point of your awl onto dead center than it is to try and get the point of the awl onto a pencil line on dead center. You can feel it snap in there. You put the point in one groove and slide it along and you can feel it snap in when it gets to the other, the crossing line. So, uh, usually tends to, uh, for me anyway, I have a heck of a time hitting a pencil mark with the all. So I'm just going to put this between centers and rough it down to round. So I'm going to drill a hole, It's go eventually it's going to go all the way through, uh, hopefully uh, I can get it pretty well on center.
because if I can't get it on center, then uh, I got a problem. Because the whole point of the exercise is uh, to have a collar chuck that's turning on center. Okay, so that's turning true. I'll put a uh, Jacob's check in the tail stock. And I've got the dimple from my center, my uh, step center, to uh, get the bit started. So I'm going to go in as far as I can from this end. turn that end for end and center it back up It's not really... Okay, that's finally running on center. Uh, so rather than trust that center now, I'm going to use uh, the toe of my skew to make a new dimple there. 